In this session, we are going to be studying the tax burden of a consumer sales tax. So despite the fact that a sales tax is imposed solely on consumers, the burden might be shared between consumers and producers. And this happens because the sales tax might change the equilibrium price. We're going to look at two different cases here because we're going to also try and see what happens when a sales tax is imposed in a case when we have an elastic supply function and in a case when we have an inelastic supply function up here. Right? So let's start with the first case when we have an elastic supply function, SS. So in this case, we have a demand and supply function that gives us an equilibrium price of $7. And now the government imposes a sales tax of $4. Now demand function is a willingness to pay. Consumers are willing to pay this price for this much of quantity. As soon as the sales tax is imposed on consumers, now they think about the willingness to pay inclusive of the sales tax. So this is like the sales tax bringing down the demand function by the amount of the sales tax. Right? So we have a DD prime. What is the new equilibrium price and quantity? This is your equilibrium and the equilibrium price and the quantity. Now let's talk about tax burden. Tax burden is how much consumers and producers are paying and receiving. Now, how much does how, before taxes were imposed, how much were consumers paying for this product? Well, they were paying the equilibrium price, which was $7. Producers were receiving $7 before taxes. After tax, this, after tax the equilibrium price is $6. How much do producers receive after taxes are imposed? Well, they receive the new market price, which is $6. How much do consumers pay after taxes have been imposed? They pay the new equilibrium price, which is $6, plus the sales tax of $4 that they have to pay to the government. So now the new price that is given by consumers is $6 in the market price plus $4 to the government, and that adds up to $10. So what's the tax burden? Well, the extra amount that they're paying here, which is $3, and the less amount that they're producers are receiving, which is $1. So 3 plus 1 gives you $4. This is the tax burden being shared between consumers and producers. So producers are also paying $1 of this tax out of their pockets in terms of having, in terms of receiving a lower price for the product. Now, producers end up paying $1 despite the fact that the consumers were the only person who were paying the sales tax. Okay, let me rephrase it. The sales tax was only imposed on consumers, not producers, but this imposition of sales tax on consumers brought down the price by $1. And that is the tax being paid out of a producer's pocket. That's a tax burden for producers. Right? So that's your tax burden. Now we want to see what happens instead of, if instead of elastic supply function and the price is going down by $1, we have an in inelastic supply function. Everything else remains the same. The government still imposes a sales tax of $4. And we have the same demand functions as before. The equilibrium price would still be the same, which would be, the se which would be $7. And the equilibrium quantity would be the same, $12. So let's look at this scenario. So we have an inelastic supply function. What this does is, Despite the fact that the sales tax remains the same, which is $4, having an inelastic supply of functions brings down the equilibrium price further down to $4. All right, so this is our new equilibrium price and quantity. But everything else is the same except for the fact that you have an inelastic supply function. Before taxes, same scenario, same thing. Consumers are paying $7, producers are receiving $7. What happens after taxes? Well, after taxes, the equilibrium price is $4. Producers are actually receiving $4 after taxes. They were initially receiving $7, but now the equilibrium price has fallen to $4. Consumers were paying $7 before taxes. After tax, they pay $4 plus $4 in taxes that they have to pay the government. So how much do they end up paying? $8. What is the tax burden in this case? $1 for consumers and $3 for producers. The tax burden is completely reversed. In this case, producers pay a bigger share of the taxes than consumers. 
reason? Well, the reason is inelastic supply function. That means supply is not much responsive to changes in prices. As you can see from the two scenarios, we have this, the, the purple one and the green one. Everything else remaining the same. We have a $4 sales tax, which brings down the demand function by the same amount. Because now your supply function had different elasticities, <laughs> in the case of green supply function, the market price fell by much more than in case of this purple elastic supply function. And this is measuring the tax burden on producers. So the market price fell by a large amount in this case, tax burden was much more on producers than on consumers. All right, guys. Thank you. Hope this helps.